And this news just in and we reported it first many, many weeks ago. Narendra Modi was always expected to vacate his Vadodara seat and he does that today. He won from Varanasi as well as Vadodara in the Lok Sabha election and he was always expected to do just what he's done just now, which is vacate the Vadodara seat. Going straight across to Deputy Editor Brajesh Pandey for more on this. Uh, Brajesh, vacating the Vadodara seat on expected lines, bigger question, who's going to replace him then? Well, Shiv, there are uh, two, three names doing the round and one of the probables is Amit Shah because uh, they are saying that once he gets a clean chit from the CBI, then he can uh, contest from Vadodara and, uh, you know, enter the parliament and then aim for bigger roles in the uh, Prime Minister's office. Uh, however, uh, uh, Narendra Modi vacating the Vadodara seat is, as you just said, is, is along the expected lines because he was uh, once after winning the Varanasi seat and given the fact that Uttar Pradesh will be a, a very key factor in the future scheme of things of the Bharati Janta Party, given the fact also that uh, within next two to three years yes. we'll be seeing assembly polls, it was highly unlikely for him to vacate the Varanasi seat right. which had larger political significance. And Vadodara, Vadodara seat, as we know, is kind of a pocket borrow for the for the Bharati Janta Party and considered a, a decently safe seat and, and make sure that whosoever uh, contests in place of Narendra Modi hmm. is also sure to roam back home with a huge margin. Right. If, Bridges Pandey, thank you for joining us with that update. Clearly, Shiv, the political significance of Varanasi triumphs over Absolutely. the home turf of Vadodara in this case. We will, of course, continue to track who exactly gets that Vadodara seat. And we